Ah, hello, yes. Namaste. Hello, sir. Good morning. Good morning. So, guys, why UPSC? UPSC, which is considered to be one of the most toughest exam, which people consider. But do you know what is the actual marks required to clear this exam? First rank, topper, how much is he scoring in this particular exam? 50%. It is even less than 50% we require to clear this particular exam. Right? So the exam is not at all difficult. The exam is vast. Right? So if you have a proper strategy, one year, right? One year you plan, one year of your life, you give sincerely, then it's very easy for us to achieve this exam. Fine, right? I'll just tell you. Uh, see, everyone has to live their lives. Everyone has to run for their life. If you just take tiger and a deer, right? Tiger is considered to be the most powerful animal in the forest, and deer is the weakest one. To survive, deer has to run. Fine. If deer doesn't run, tiger will eat. But to eat, tiger also must run. If tiger don't run and sit idle, deer won't come. So to leave, we have to run. When we are running, why shouldn't we run for the biggest run? Why small things in life? Fine. In India, we get power either through money or through education. So when money can't drive us, it must be education which must take us. And our knowledge is tested through this particular exam. Fine. You be easy which is considered to be difficult by most of the people because they do not have a proper guide. They don't know how exactly they need to proceed to crack this particular exam. So most of the students who have cracked this exam are mediocres. They are not toppers. You need not to be top in your colleges to first, like, you know, to clear this exam. This exam, okay, I'll just tell you, uh, if we see college days, fine. People who score first in college is different from people who have knowledge. Correct? People who have knowledge are different, people who come first is different. But people who come first know how to write in the exam. People who have knowledge don't know how to represent in the exam. So what is the difference? Knowledge is important. But at the same time, scoring is also important. So to clear this exam, there are so many books available. Which book to read, what to read, when to read, how many times you have to read it. Like you know, even basic things becomes important. Let me just tell you, uh, there are two types of books. Like you know, we call standard books and we also call reference books. Now, what is a standard book and what is a reference book? The difference. Now, let me say I have NCRT. Fine. You might have heard. I'm going with the book which you might have heard. So, this is NCRT. And there is another book of economy. Like, you know, let me say there is a book of Ramesh. Or, let me say this newspaper. Anything. Now, what is the difference in approach of a standard book and of a reference book? In standard book, every line can be a question. You have to remember, try to by heart, every line in this particular book. Now, in this, if you open a book, if the book is of 100 pages, you have to read only 5 to 6 pages. And you have to read only five to six pages multiple times. Now, what is the difference? This book is written from ten reference books. Someone has sat and they have made notes for you in the form of NCRT. But here, there is just a reference book. You have to bring this book 
from these references. The meaning here you just need to read only important ones. Most of the students waste their time only in reading these books. They don't practice these books. That's where the problem is coming. Second thing, there is always change in pattern of exam. Every 10 years once, the exam pattern keeps on changing. Now, whenever the pattern changes, the type of questions which are asked also changes. Fine. See, I'll just give you, there are four important subjects. You have history. Any idea what are the subjects you have? Polity. Geography. Economy. Anything more? General science. Okay, science. Science and technology you call. And then environment. 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 In current affairs rather than current affairs. Can we split what all we should focus in current affairs? In the page, current affairs page, what all we need for government schemes? Government schemes, good. Then? Social health. Governance, we call it. Right? Then you have? Social health. Social issues. Okay? Then? International relations. Can we say we see international relations? We see internal security. Yeah. You also have ethics. Right? So now these are all the things that you have core for the syllabus. But you see how questions are split and what you must focus. First is your history. If you want, you can make a note along with me. First is your history. Right? In history, you have. Can you tell what are all the different things present in history? Ancient, medieval, medieval modern, then post independence India, and then world history. Right? World history. And then you also have. Art and culture. But would like to include art and culture. Fine. See, only history, if you take, you have these five divisions. Now, a student knows that history is part of the syllabus, and if he takes all the history books and keep reading them. It is useless. What we should know first? These two are only humans. And also, nowadays from these two, hardly one question is coming from the notes. Only one question is coming from the notes. Post independence in India and world history. No need of these two to be read immediately. What you must focus on? These three. Fine? In history, if you are getting 20 questions every year, imagine you are getting 20 questions. Four years back, 14 questions used to come from modern history. Fine? And, like you know, five questions from art and culture. One question from ancient times. One question. See, 14 from modern, art and culture, five questions. One question only from ancient and medieval. Ancient and medieval kings, other people who were there. But now, what happened? From last four, five years, this became eight questions. And this became ten questions. And this you are getting two 
And these two questions everyone is aware. One is from Buddhism, another one is from Jainism. Buddhism, Jainism, art and culture, ten questions. This is eight questions. So see, are we either? What everyone is able to do, they use it to read this book. Everyone are interested in reading this book. Now, when these questions are placed, you might have heard of a new book called Nitin Singhal, Art and Culture by Nitin Singhal. See, a new book came. Why? Because UPSC has started analyzing or giving more questions from that. Art and culture became important. Right. So now, what has happened in the last year? Last for two years at least, this has become four questions. This has become six questions. This is becoming eight to ten questions. Can you see? So now, what is happening? Student will read this. You all have this mindset. Previous year questions we take. Engineering or graduation, if you want to pass, you take those previous questions. You analyze out of this, you take five questions. Go and write and come. Now, what is happening? Everyone is reading this and this. They left this. UPSC is now again picking up things. So, ten questions in history, people are not able to write at all. They don't know from where it is coming. In another one or two years, you will see new books coming on these. And by that it changes again. Yeah, there changes. So see, if you want to crack the exam, right? If you want to crack the exam, don't try to take risk. Try to read everything. That is there in the syllabus. That means these three are for problems. There are NCRT books, sixth to twelfth history NCRT books. You try to read those NCRT books. I'll just tell you one more stuff. Uh, okay. There was a question on what is a state. Right? There was a question on what is a state. Which book do you think, or which subject do you think it is associated with? In this, you see, what is a state? Question was, what do you understand by a state? What do you think? Which party governance or geography? Quality or job, okay. Uh, mostly the term state people may think is associated with Polity. politics, quality, state, right? So, most of the polity faculties, if you see the last new question, you have uh, immediately after the exam, people will discuss the paper, right? So, everyone took the polity question, what is the state, and they gave so many explanations. Right? And they told this option is correct, this option is correct. Different institutions gave different options to be correct. Fine. But this question was taken from sociology NCRT book. In sociology NCRT book, there is a state. And below that, they have given the definition of a state. Same line is picked and given in the exam. Now, they will give marks only if you attempt that question from the book person, not about anything else. So what I am trying to tell you, nowadays what is the change? 2009, 10, 11, UPSC shifted from static subjects to current affairs. Number of questions from current affairs started in 2011, you might have heard of a maximum called as uh, like you know chronicle tech and chronicle like, you know you had a magazine uh, civil services chronicle and in that magazine they actually give one year current affairs in one book right and in that like you know book whoever read 60 questions came 60 60 questions came from that book alone and what happened everyone started Reading that. After that, not even a single question came. <laughs> Only that particular year they got. Now, what happened after three years in 2014? 
30 questions came from vision current affairs mindset. 30 questions. That year also those people who they come. But now after that, not even a single question has come. So what I'm trying to say, if anyone says, like you know, the question came, it is completely different from how the questions are actually formed and how they are asked. But at the end, now 2020, 2021, we have so many problems in these three years, right? Along with COVID, what UPSC is doing, UPSC is not focusing on current affairs. They have completely shifted to incidents. Now, this year, 30 questions, 3 zero questions came only from incidents. They have copy pasted the questions from incidents. But if we say read NCRTs again and again, right, you feel bad because like you know NCRTs are basics, we have read once. Understand. When exam changes, read for the exam, you will clear the exam. And the exam pattern changes once in six to eight years. From last three years, they have come to a stable position. Now if you can proceed properly, it would be easier for you to but you should also be aware how to read every book. So I'll give you the list of things that you need to read. And I'll also tell you how to pick the points, which chapters you need to read in each one. Fine. So first thing is, let's go uh, subject-wise itself. I'll tell you from Paperwise, I'll take paper one. Right? You might have heard about essay. How many essays you to write? In exam? Two. two essays. Two essays. There will be two sections. Section A and section A. In section A, they will give you philosophical questions. Philosophical questions. Pen is mightier than sword. Write for how many months? 125 months. There will be four questions. Right? There will be four questions. Out of four questions, we have to pick one question and write it. Right? All will be philosophical. Second will be like you know general. And this is also for 125 points. Fine? Yeah. So two questions of 250 months. Here also you will have four questions. You have to choose one question from both. How much time? Three months. Please, please remember. Uh, 10 marks normally means 100 words. 1 mark, 10 words. Go with that logic. So that 125 marks means 1250 marks. You have to write within that. And the page that will be given to you will be like this A4 size, two lines will be there. No, the length will be around 16 centimeters. You have to write within this. If you write here and if you write here, they will give minus 5. Yeah. Clearly, they mention it. You should not write here and here. This is for evaluation. You should not write Sri Om 789 above. Right? No name, nothing must be written anywhere. You should have a practice of this. I'm showing you just because when you take a book, class notes to write, right? Our request is take such a book. You get these books. You can take print out of them. So that you know how much space is there. When you practice diagrams and all, you can fit within this. 10 marks means, I don't know if you are aware, they give a question, 
question one. Question will be there in English. Question will be there in Hindi. And one page or one and half page space will be there. So after ten mark question, in next page here question two. English Hindi. So you have to write with this. In school days, parents will write question and give you space to do. You have to fill. Like you know, same way you have. To. What some students will do? They scratch the question, write below. Again, they do. UPSC has uploaded all those things and told, don't do such things. You have to write within the place. Else, for three people, they have given minus five out of the total marks. They give total marks and then tell minus twenty. Because five times you have written in this, you hardly get marks. Mm -hmm. And in that also, if this is one, five. See this? No need to prepare for this. This is evaluated by English factors. They will check not your, uh, like you know, what you call it, knowledge completely, but they also want structure to be proper. Your answer structure to be proper. How exactly to write a proper essay will teach you. Over a period of time, will teach you, and there is no need to read something. Whatever subjects are there, from these subjects only information you can take and fill it here. So no need of additional preparation for this. But you must be aware how to approach it. Fine. So after this. What is the next two paper? What all you have? Any GS data? paper one. GS paper one. Paper two. We call GS one. You have this paper. Geography. Social issues. And job. The three topics is history.
but i tell you if at all you are uh, joining here i don't think these are all required even this proper notes will be given to you so that if you can rely on that it's more than enough for this and this see world history old ncrt book is there of arjun dev it is according to the syllabus world history arjun dev old ncrt book is there that is written according to the syllabus this you can check post independence india mostly in the new ncrt books only so no need to do traditional effort see history the number of books you read is more the number of questions you get is very very less effort on history has to be reduced don't waste your time in reading history first because it is very vague and it is very difficult for us to tell also from where questions are coming so what i would say at max if you can answer some 10 questions Out of twenty questions, that's great. I'm trying to tell you, you can't be perfect in this subject. Which subject? History. Fine. But you see the next ones, which are easy. Shall I erase this? You want to write? Done. Can you tell three issues in India, social issues in India? Three issues. Ha. Uh, society ones, poverty and all are right. Right ones, country ones. So India, specific to India, any three issues. Social. If you see US, US was race, racial. In India. Three is what? Caste, woman, and then religion. Correct. Caste, woman, religion. Okay. So now, what are the questions you expect on this three? Okay. But how do you expect it to be? Caste. Let us say, is caste weakening or caste strengthening? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you tell me what is happening. That's what the question is. In other areas, it's weakening. In many other areas, it's strengthening. So he's saying urban areas it is weak, but in rural areas and other areas it is strong. So UBSC tries to tell you that Punjab, Haryana region, Bihar, UP region, coastal Andhra, Tamil Nadu. Wherever agriculture is still present, caste system evolved because of what agriculture, correct? Agriculture is the core. So wherever agriculture is still present, caste is still present. If you go to coastal Andhra, like you know, uh, there, if you are sitting in a classroom, the guy who sits beside you, before making friendship, he ensures that you are from this community. Else, he won't accept friend request on FB also. <laughs> Fine. I'm trying to say caste system to the core, where in this age, Punjab, Haryana, patriarchal societies. Again, what caste system? But when you come to Kerala, right? In Kerala, it is not caste. Uh, it is not patriarchy, but it is matriarchy. That is mother dominance. Why? I think I'm um, just having discussion. It's not a class. You just think why. What can be the reason? 
is Kerala developed, educated? Is that the reason? Or what? That's not the reason. It, the education level is good, there is no doubt. But the literacy is the highest, sure. But it's not because of that. Yeah. So what, is, what else can be the reason? It's been there since a long time now. Ha. What, what, why, how it has evolved? This, this was asked in the exam. Why Punjab, Haryana are still in patriarchy? Whereas Kerala is a matriarch. See, so if you see, Kerala is a place of migrants. That means most of the male working people migrate to Arab countries, yes. Gulf countries, and all. Who is going? Men are going. Who is left? Women. Now, when woman is left, money comes. She is the head of the house. She takes decisions. Children observes that mother is the one who is taking the decision. And they will start respecting mother's decision. Are you getting the point? When they start respecting mother's decision, what is going to happen? Next generation, obviously they will also start respecting woman's decision. So, slowly, a patriarchal one, where boy used to take, you just imagine in a traditional family where mother tells her child that like, you know, I want to get a new pen. Mother will tell, I want to ask your father, I'll get money from your father and then I'll give. So, the child will be like, that's fine. I also have to ask my father or the guy will feel if I become big, I also should be him. Right? Now, on the other side, elders in the family will tell, let's ask mom, only if she says, yes, you will get, then you will start respecting. This is the change we have seen because of migration. Question is, impact of migration. Sir, uh, I had also heard this that uh, in some, uh, you know, past over there, uh, the, when it is a marriage, the uh, the boy, the groom, mm -hmm. has to pay something to the, uh, yeah. the bride's uh, family, or you know, it is uh, like most of the expenses are to be borne by, the, born by the, the whose family, and the marriage uh, also. True. Even if you go to northeast India, Nagas and some tribes are there. In those tribes, you have matriarchal lineages. After marriage, guy has to go. Like you know, even. Uh, but your property and all is given to women. Yeah. So, India is diverse. <laughs> but here we are talking about first caste. Is it weakening and strengthening? Is the question. New forms that are coming. Women, a never ending issue until and unless we reach towards equality or inclusion. And the biggest question, what they ask, UPSC is very smart. They ask, is women empowerment means equality? Tell me, is woman empowerment means equality? What does woman expect? Is it equality? Interviews they ask these questions. Yes. See, it's all about what you observe in the society. It's not. This is the most, um, like you know, what you call rational exam. They ask you things on the basis of their observations in the society. Who, uh, one student. When they asked, uh, why are you in UPS? The guy told, uh, I want to bring equality, I want to bring poverty, uplift. Right? So there is only one question. Tell me one thing in nature where everything is equal. Show me anything. Animals, anything you take. Is there equality in nature? No. Why are we striving towards equality? And the guy told, we are striving towards equality because we are humans. We can't reach equality, but at least we should move mm -hmm. towards that. You get the difference in approach. The way you put matters a lot. So what I'm trying to say, right from today, when you are preparing for the exam, prepare from interview perspective. Any question that it comes, how am I able to answer? Mumbai get floods, right, regularly. Mumbai also have some water problems in some areas. How are these two? Floods and water problems. That means somewhere you are not managing properly. Correct? What needs to be done? So questions are mostly on the basis of those. Then is woman 
old age people and we also have family family always is a simple business joint family is singular family fine what is india's family system don't say joint family urban areas no joint family system yeah. what is india's system are we autonomous family or are we nuclear family just asking don't think uh, having a discussion that's it what do you think okay uh, every day you call your parents wherever you are call once see so what is atomic husband wife and a child will be there together after some time husband may get separated husband wife may get separated child may also get separated You might have seen this Kaun Kalyan Karoti. Who wants to become a millionaire uh, like, uh, in US? In that, the guy who became a millionaire in the show, uh, his last question he had three choices. Like you know, the choices uh, when they asked, he told I want to call my dad, and uh, he called his dad and told uh, Dad, I just want you to know I'm going to be a millionaire in this show. He did not took any support from his dad actually. So there we call atomic family. That means no one has any connections. Marriage is there, like we call relatives. Parents are also called. They will come and they will go. But ours is like husband, wife, children. He will be in contact with husband, wife, siblings, and all. They will be in contact. So it's a nuclear. Yes, we are away. But still, the bondings are attached, mm-hmm. right? Now, this family system, how is it getting affected due to globalization? How is it affected due to Western culture? All these are basically discussed in social issues. Right? Six questions you get in main sense on this topic. Six questions you get. Very simple. If you work for one week and make points. What are all the issues? Make points. It's enough. One week you can get eighty marks. Easy. These are all standard questions which you should not miss. I told you history. Don't worry. History is very difficult. If you don't get all this, it's fine. But this is very very important. Fine. And then you see the next one: geography. This subject is severely affected. Geography. It is for both prelims and mains. Earlier, you used to get twenty questions for for prelims. Geography. Fine. In geography only, you had environment and economics, forest and all. Two thousand eleven onwards. Two thousand eleven onwards. These twenty questions became ten questions, and these became twelve questions. Environment and ecology became another subject. Fine. So now what happened? A new book is there on this new subject. Fine. So this and this got divided. Now what has happened from last three years? You know farmers are fighting across the country. Yes. So agriculture has got predominates. Now from agriculture, eight questions are coming. This has become six questions. Are you getting it? Premise change. Now you must be very sure about agriculture. This will take thirty hours. This will take twenty hours to read. Right? Teach as well. This will take sixty hours. But how many questions will get? Six. But without this, you won't understand this. They are all interrelated. What I am trying to tell earlier, you used to get two questions from one page. Now you get eight questions. Should you read properly? You should know from where to read and how to. Read. That's the 
clear. So let me just tell you this first geography in that see this six NCRT just you read once. Seventh NCRT and eleventh NCRT. In eleventh, you have a book called as Fundamentals of Physical Geography. So yes, seventh and eleventh both are same. You should read together. Seventh and eleventh. So this talks about world geography, world physical geography. England has water bottle, half filled one, which is transparent. Half. I want to show them something. Yeah. So. You have eighth NCRT and twelfth NCRT, which is about human geography. This is world human and economic geography. Yeah. So these two are together. Right? These two are together. Ninth NCRT and in eleventh you have India physical. These two are about. India physical. Both are same. Right? And then 10th NCRT, 12th NCRT, India economic. This is India human and economic. Says, this is how you have to read NCRTs. Don't read blindly. You have to read together because that reduces your time, also builds your confidence. Very high temperature. 
surface is very high temperature let's say mumbai is very high temperature so what is going to happen air above the mumbai will also be heated so when air above mumbai is also heated hot air rises cool air comes down hot air rises so when hot air is rising let me say one cloud big cloud from arabian sea enters into mumbai right so when it enters into mumbai what is going to happen can i say here air is rising already air is rising so when the cloud comes when the cloud also rises so now you tell when the cloud rises can you see the particles are heating can you hear the sound yes so just imagine 1 to 7 km that means 6 km long cloud when they hit what is going to happen they all hit against each other to produce thunderstorms fine thunderstorms are associated with cumulonimbus clouds which are moving like this and this within the cloud all these particles will have electrons when these electrons hit against each other what is going to happen lightning is formed is this clear so mumbai may be affected by thunderstorms a lot lightning a lot you have so many buildings right so many buildings are there lightning when it comes it hits the highest or the tallest one so buildings must be protected from lightning mumbai is fine let's go to uh, jnpt navi mumbai like you know and other places there tall buildings will not be there what we must do we normally grow palm trees palm trees palm trees are tall but they don't catch fire easily so we prefer to grow that so these are all what disaster management skills i'll ask you simple uh, there is 100 acre land barren land is there fine and in that barren land you are walking So there is suddenly thunderstorms and lightning. What will you do? Hundred acres, more area. Don't say you run and escape. Why? What can be done? What should be done? Lightning is coming. Okay, you another simple one. Let's say earthquake is going to happen. You are inside the building. What you must do? What you must do? Hide under. Hide under. Hide under the table. Yes. Will you take lift? No. Stairs. You might have seen in case of fire. Take stairs. Lightning normally hits the tallest people. You should sleep. You should not go and hide below trees. There is possibility of catching fire. So what what we are trying to say when you read don't read it as a subject read it to enhance your common sense because you are going to rule the country this is not some job like you know where someone will train no one can give training in common sense right common sense is not common but until and unless we are not exposed to it we won't get it that's the problem with common sense as well right so most of the questions are on the basis of these analysis <clears throat> now what was the question when will you get thunderstorms in prelims they asked the question when will you get thunderstorms when two clouds hit we get thunderstorm second when air rises vertically we get thunderstorm which is correct so when two clouds hit they join rather than making sound second if air rises you won't get thunderstorm what should rise air and cloud should rise if cloud is not there and only air is rising nothing will happen so what they do concept is same but in the statement one line or one word they do and they give so you won't be in a position to understand that's where the actual problem to clear so did you understand how to approach geography yeah. now the next one i'll quickly go through this this books are less
पेपर थ्री पॉलिटिक्स गवर्नेंस सोशल जस्टिस एंड देन इंटरनेशनल रिलेशंस इसको क्वालिटी एक ही बुक क्यों हो वही लक्ष्मी ना most of the books are written for lawyers this is the only book written for upsc aspects simple language and the remaining three is governance social justice and law governance social justice and law is only from current books you should read only from current books newspaper which newspaper do you read Which one? Hindu. Okay. Have you started reading? Have you started reading? No. How much time will it take for you to read now? Okay. Will help you how to finish them in one month. How to read newspaper in one month. There are some important topics that you need to pick in the newspaper. If we just read them, that must be more than. Uh, Uh, Hindu newspaper. If it is there, yes, yeah. there it is. Fine. So it's only this book. Rest all is Karnataka. But I'll show you how to pick for the Karnataka. Paper four. Economy. Science and technology, disaster management, internal security, economy. Yes. Any book for economy is a reference book. You can see Ramesh Singh, Vivek Singh. Any book is. Sir, stop. Stop. We can take from there. We don't have an idea. Okay. Yesterday was also fine. It's fine. It's okay. So, Ramesh Singh or Vivek Singh. Plus newspaper. Is science and technology. Disaster management. Excuse me, sir. I'm so sorry. Can you have that soft copy? Okay. Uh, no, at the end. If we can make it available. Yes. Okay, let us know whenever you want. Yes. Okay. So, disaster management, science and tech. These are all questions based on what has happened in that particular year. For example, have you heard Uttarakhand floods? 2014. There was Uttarakhand floods. Question was like you know uh, why are there floods? Hyderabad floods question was why urban floods are increasing, right? Nepal earthquake question was an earthquake, fine. And uh, when there was what we call as uh, like you know Hoodhood cyclone, have you heard? There was a cyclone when in Hoodhood. Everyone was thinking why these names, right? So question was how cyclones are named. So every year disaster management is on the basis of what is asked. But let me tell you how questions are picked and what is happening for the preparation. Um, see this. Now, if you take this part of India, this is your Aksai Chin region. Right? This is Aksai Chin region of. Yeah. When Chinese have all, now this is completely desert. Temperature will be minus forty, minus forty-five degrees Celsius. Now this is completely under Chinese control. People are not. China in 1962 captured come this part completely, plus Arunachal Pradesh completely. They captured both. U.S. sent. Nuclear weapons to Indian Ocean to attack China 
that if you don't go back, we will bomb you. When US came, Chinese went to back. Chinese went to back from Arunachal Pradesh. They did not go from this place. Chinese went to back from Arunachal Pradesh because if the issue of Arunachal Pradesh is taken to United Nations, United Nations will tell fine whether it is India's or China's, let us ask the people. Let's go to Arunachal Pradesh. People are there. We will ask them, do you want to be part of India or do you want to be part of China? And people of Arunachal Pradesh are mostly Tibetan Buddhist people and they will support India rather than supporting China. So China went back. But here people are not there. So, if at all you want to take, it must be on the basis of the agreement. Right? So, what has happened? One agreement says, this is India's territory. Another agreement says, this is India's territory. So, can I say about China Middle blue is red? India Middle red is red. So this, this is called like you know Johnson line. This is called McDonald line. China says McDonald is correct. We say Johnson is correct. And papers are present for both. People are not. Now what happened? Uh, every year in this particular part, Chinese will come. Chinese territory is still here, but they come till here. And here temperature is minus 45 degrees Celsius. Very difficult for soldiers to be present throughout the year. At that time, some tribal communities from Jammu and right, they go in search of grasses still here. Bakarwals we call it. Like you know, they go in search of grasses, nomadic tribes. Summer season, grass is grown in this region. They grow, they go here. So when they went there, they found that Chinese have come. They came back and they told to Indian army, let's see Chinese have come. And then Indian army went and Indian army was present here. They both were present for some time. After summer, winter starts, Chinese went back, Indians also came. Right? But three times Chinese entered in this region. And every time when Chinese went, newspaper told, Akarwals has informed us that Chinese have entered in the continent. Three times in that particular year. UPSC asked the question, there is a community in Jammu Kashmir which is involved in nomadic herding. And this community will normally graze sheep. This community normally moves to Ladakh region during summer season and comes back during winter. Which is the community we are talking about? What is the community? Bakarwal community. Right. The question was what with respect to current affairs. Next year what happened? All the students started reading. All the tribal communities present in India. There are more than 500 to 600 tribes, they started bypassing all the tribes. Is that the correct way to approach? So what is happening? You are wasting time. You are not understanding where to read and how to read. Another, another simple thing. Uh, in Assam, this, you have Brahmaputra river. Right? You have Kaziranga forest. Have you heard? Yes. Kaziranga forest. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you have a highway also which passes through this. There is a highway which passes through this. The highway passes. So now, this is the only highway present. If you have to move, this is the only highway present here. So now, you see the beauty. Uh, every day, 8 to 12, 4 to 8. Every day, 4 to 8 a.m. in the morning, all the animals will move like this. 
will cross the road. All animals will move from one side to another side. Four to eight. Evening, four to eight, they all come back. It's like they went for a job and came back. <laughs> Fine. But in between, there will be some animal movement. Late comers will always be there. Fine. But court told that four to eight in the morning and four to eight in the evening. As there is more animal movement, block these roads for traffic. You should not allow any vehicles to go in between 4 to 8 and 4 to 8. This is the judgment. UPSC gave a question. Which national highway passes through Gazanita? Do you understand? Right. So next time onwards, what students started doing? They took all the national Highways, national parks, by heart. Like you know. So it's like you're putting effort. But you're not hearing. You can see I by hearted so many things. I read so many things. I have so many copies. I'm not clearing the exam. And books also is. I have seen many students, like you know, they tell the parents that oh my son reads a lot. His entire room is covered with books. Uh, I went there, uh, like you know. Normally, whoever prepares, they have this world map, India map, dictionaries, like you know, subject wise dictionaries also they have, uh, books everywhere. And what has he read? He has not read anything in that. Still, he is reading just of many books, materials he is taking and he is going to. See, you are not here to become book collectors, you are here to become district collectors. Don't focus on it. What all you need to take and read? This exam requires, I tell you this, 10 months of coaching. 10 months of coaching, mandatory, to complete it in a detailed manner. You need 10 months. If at all you are teaching for 4 hours in a day, if you increase it for 8 hours, it becomes 5 months. The number of hours you give. But 5 months if you complete, 8 hours in a day if you sit. The memory will also be only that much. So I'm just trying to say, after that, after coaching, if you have made your class notes, how many of you have ever felt in your degrees when you are writing exam, last exam, if you have a class notes of your own, it would be good, at least from next semester. Every time we feel, we understand our class notes much better than uh, Others' notes. We all agree with it. See, guys, first attend classes, complete every word in the syllabus. Second, make notes. While making notes, you must be aware whether the topic is for means or for problems. If it is for means, 12 points. What you should do, farmers, protest is going on. Six positive, six negative, way forward. Human issues, six positive, six negative, way forward. In this manner, you make notes for almost everything. Keep everything ready. Once this is done, once this is done, you just need six months time to crack this exam. At that time, you want to go for a job and prepare you. During preparation, what, what we suggest is six to eight months. Be slow. Only focus on understanding. The moment you have completed coaching, the moment you have your own notes of all the subjects, six months from that time, you will be in the list. For sure. There is no doubt. But this process should complete. Now people will think, okay, I'll, I'll give exam in 2022. Six months are left. Fine, you give. But the problem is, success is not ensured. Then you will feel like, you know, I'm not fit for the exam or exam is difficult. Initially, when you are giving the exam, you tell your friends, colleagues and all, they will be scared. Achha, what if he clears? They start respecting you. How is it going on and all? After one attempt, they will tell, I know you won't do. It's very difficult. When you crack, they will tell, I know you will do. These things will be there. Don't worry about the people around you. But you have to feel, yes, I have completed everything before giving an exam. In college days, 
If eight questions were asked in the exam, where you have to prepare for only five questions, what you usually to do? You picked those five questions, prepared only for those five questions, and you cleared the exam. But now you have to prepare for eight because three questions you won't be knowing in the exam. So you have to read all eight. At least five you will be able to answer, so that clearing the exam will be easy. Fine. So guys, further along. We will be helping you out in uh, reducing the time of your preparation with newspapers and all. So I'll just show you. It takes five to ten minutes to tell you how to pick the topics from the newspaper. Can you just ask them? Yes. Any doubts from your side? You ask me. Till then, you have ethics paper and optionals. Just. Any doubts if you have? And if you can turn that side, this will be missing. That's the reason. The editorial pages will be missing. So. Striking fear and this. 
in the editorial page you'll have two things right those two are very very important for you because striking fear and below you have one more a shot in the arm i try to show you who is this people i hope that would be visible to you see a shot in the arm and this now what is this a very big issue in the country is written in small paragraphs a very very big issue is written in small paragraphs in these two so these two are important for you always this depends upon who the author is and then this is what of it we call opposite editorial where they take any one issue and try to go in detail i want you to read this to collect stories so that you can use these stories in your essays ethics paper for example uh, untouchability in india right so they made a case study in a particular district in chatisgarh a dalit widow was cooking food for midday meals at that time people were not willing to take food prepared by her and what the ias officer did he went he spoke to the people he also ate food along with them and convinced the people right so when he sat he forced the people that if i can do you can he brought some changes in the place in telangana when swachh bharat abhiyan had to be implemented right so what uh, the district collector there did first he took a village in that village he ensured 100% toilets were constructed and once 100% toilets were constructed he told to the people that i will provide you water i will provide you roads i will provide you agricultural facilities everything was provided to that village others started coming and asking why are you providing everything to that village he told see these people have adopted 100% swachh bharat abhiyan that is the reason we are gifting them all these things in advance because they are following rules properly immediately all other villages also started constructing the toilets and started demanding we also need roads we also need electricity and all through this he could ensure 90% of the villages were having toilets they will give you such cases in this so when you take those cases writing examples will become easier for you fine k marks will normally increase if you can do that so is then these things now i will tell you rahul gandhi said something k jirwal said something right uddhav thakre said something modi said something not in prime minister modi told about chenna chief minister uddhav thakre spoke about the scheme so whenever it is not a personal comment they will add chief minister or prime minister beside the names that becomes important politically priyanka gandhi said rajiv gandhi said not in you need not read them you can read third you tell me now uh, court has taken case of scam court has collected details about the scam court has given judgment about the scam which one is important judgment. which one you should read judgment. for the exam judgment not from the stage mm -hmm. scientists are planning to go to some scientists are preparing a mission to go to sun funding has come to go to sun sun moon not moon sun <laughs> fine and recently nasa told we have landed on sun what is important yeah. we are planning to go to moon we landed on moon when will they ask question 
in your land or don't keep reading right from the beginning clear then uh, a bill is introduced in the parliament right a bill is passed by lok sabha a bill is rejected by lok sabha bill is amended by rajya sabha they give these things bill is passed by the parliament and it has become an act can i say that becomes important thing so only when things complete it is very very essential rather than in the process don't waste your time in that so and this one paper will be significantly wasted now on uh, what we call as uh, uttar pradesh news uttar pradesh election for next one goa uttar pradesh all becomes important now see is world news you have what is world news there is difference between international relations and world news world news means what is happening in sri lanka what is happening in bangladesh what is happening in us comes in which page of the newspaper world modi is going to visit us modi is going to visit china comes in previous pages do you get the difference the meaning if something is happening in us it is world not for india if something is of importance for india it will be given here so let me search it have Six. U.S. waives in-person visa interviews for 2022. Is it world news? In the sense, can I say it is associated with U.S.? But it is of India's interest. That means it has done something with respect to India. So international relations, from India's perspective, will be given not in the world page. so you skip world page it's fine but you should not skip nation page fine world page will be it's fine economy is after this the next page will be business page i don't know how many of you understand economy until and unless we read economy it is very difficult to understand economy so economy news also you can avoid till classes are completed fine i i would suggest you first is first page half you have to read for sure then you come to editorial and opt maximum what will you see who has written it? right who has written it and if you get any examples mandatorily you have to read about nation nation page world page you leave economy page you leave at least till economy classes are done and then last page is last page of the news Where ninety percent of the times you get sports, but once in ten days you may get a topic on environment. A species is found. A you know, new animal is found. Western Ghats, new climatic zone, something or the other. In Australia, they have turned off life light for half an hour because of world wildlife. framework they give you some things like that so they all come under it that you need to read hardly newspaper reading should take one and half hour maximum initially it may take 2 to 3 hours 
within two months you should reduce it to one one and a half hour. And this is possible if you can identify. Sundays you won't have much. Fine. So plan in such a way. See three stages of your preparation, guys. First stage: attend classes, understand and complete it. You can do on your own, but if you do, it takes two to three years. Someone must be there to tell you what to read and what not to read. Ten months complete coaching. Three months after that, make notes of whatever you have not made properly by reading standard books. Then you go for preparation. That is revision. During revision, take tests, writing, and all will be easy. Even while coaching, we'll try to ensure some questions are given. We will write. We will evaluate. We will improve. That is there. But actual. Content of yours will come only once we are done with complete coaching. Because if you are writing geography question, you have to bring in economy. If you are writing polity question, you have to bring in geography. Mix only you get good marks. So your answers will improve in the last minute. That's the reason we are asking you to go through. Fine. So any doubts from your side? You ask. So you want to talk about ethics? Yeah. So this one paper which we did not speak. Paper five, GS four, ethics, integrity, and average. So let me give you two cases, guys. You have a best friend from your childhood. Fine. You never want to lose their friendship. Now it's the final year of your exam, and uh, if you clear this, degree is over. In the examination hall, you find that your friend is cheating, is copying. If you tell the invigilator, he will be debarred for three years. Right? During that time, what will you? What will you do? Remain silent. That's why. Then you know, let him do whatever he wants to do. What will? What? What do you think? It's, it's a general way. You don't need training for this. See, the biggest issue. Uh, okay, I'll change the question. Okay. You are an SP of a district. You are an SP of a district. Um, You are known for your honesty, integrity, and all. Your friend is very close to you. He has helped you during your daughter's marriage, mother's operation. Like you know, they give lot of stories like this so that you feel emotionally connected with them. And uh, he is involved in drugs, which is hot topic. Like consumption or distribution. They tell. They give in the case study only. They tell you. No, I'm giving you the case study. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I'm giving you the case study. So he is involved in drugs. What will you do? First, I have to explain him. He please don't do this, otherwise you'll come in my line of duty. Will you explain or uh, will you treat him as any other person? Uh, have to because that's very very consequence, right? So it's a legal illegal, right? It's illegal, so definitely you'll arrest. Even it's like you know you are a father, and if your son is involved in drugs, you will do the same. You can see typical movies where father is very good, son is something. Think of this: mother will be crying in between, <laughs> like you know, she don't know whom to support. What will you do? This is very easy because definitely you'll arrest. This while writing, you'll tell whatever you do. At least in writing, you'll tell you'll support. Why did you think so much when it comes to copying? Copying in the exam, you are not very sure that yes, I have to tell him and get him caught. Drugs, you know, it's a crime. You have to get him arrested. Why not copying? Because we feel we have also done. It. It's not a big crime uh, that he must be debarred, right? So we feel punishment is bit more for. What they are doing, correct? This is our logic. Mostly, what I am trying to say, 
what does UPSC expect out of you in this question? Think from that person. What does UPSC expect? I'll, I'll change the question. You see, uh, there's a guy who's enemy right from your child. You are always waiting for an opportunity to <laughs> catch him. He's copying. What will you do? You'll get up to beat the pen, see this guy is copying. Correct? See, our actions changes with people. That means we are not impartial. We are not partial. Sorry, we are not impartial. We are trying to be partial towards one. We are trying to act differently in different situations. Correct? So, UPSC asks these questions in different languages. Why? The main motto of theirs is to get your values out. You are, they know that you won't go back to school and start writing exam. Or it's not a real life situation in future. Given this particular scenario, what you will do tells your mindset. Ethics is a written into this. In that three hours, how you act matters a lot. Uh, this is tested in different exams. Different. You have CAPF exam. You might have heard CRPF, CAPF. Like you know, in that exam, four minutes they check your mindset. Four minutes they check your mindset. How? They give an image to you. Uh, once they give an image of a soldier crying. Just images of a soldier who is crying. And they asked you to write a story in four minutes, 100 words. Story. So, what do you think? A soldier is crying. Just that image. Think. Soldier is crying. What is it? What is the scenario? What is the situation? Why is he crying? You can try. Maybe a number of scenarios. He has yeah. You, 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 you tell what you are seeing in that. I'm seeing multiple scenarios. Yes. So at least there are two scenarios. Okay. One, he is in battle. He lost his friend. Two, he, he lost is... his friend. Yeah. Good. Anything? Anything more? Maybe he was defeated in the battle. He lost in the battle. Good. Anything more? Could have had a son or a daughter at home and he's not there for them. Maybe he is missing his family. Okay. Then. Because what? You have to elaborate one situation. Uh, can we say there, there are multiple things? As we, when we give you time, we can think of n number of things. But when they reduce the time, the first thing what comes to your mind will be what you will be thinking normally. So it can be a situation where, like you know, some some students wrote then he lost someone who was here, he lost the war. Some people wrote like you know, missing his family. Some people wrote he's not crying, he's happy that he won the war. Right. So the point is a situation when you try to elaborate. It shows your perspective, your thinking, your mindset in that particular moment. In management, some IAM exams as well. Uh, not for these, but interviews as well. Uh, they gave situations like there is a room full of bricks, and if you people are there for a whole day, what will you do? Some people told they will construct something, some people told they'll break and do something. Some people said, I'll keep it aside, sleep for a while. When different people have different perspectives. They just want to know what you think. Ethics is all about checking your mindset. 250 marks you have to write in less time. Every question has three subparts. To write three subparts, it takes time. You don't have time to think. When you don't have time to think, your reality comes out. But people are training themselves very well. And uh, they write very well. Ethics is something which is matched by the people. But just one question to you. Uh, you are Tri Chairman of this Telecom Regulatory Authority of India. Tri Chairman. And uh, your son has got 
a very high paying job in air or the limits in India. Should he take up the job? You are try chairman. Your son has got a high paying job in Airtel or Jio. Should he take? She says yes. Anyone? Yeah. Yeah. Next day, newspaper gives an article saying, "Try chairman's son got highest paid salary in Jio, and Jio got." More spectrum in five G. <laughs> Are you getting the point? Normally, what you face is whenever is there any sort of suspicion here? Possibility of suspicion when the readers see this? You think I am in a position? Let us say Amit Shah or someone's son or daughter is involved in a position. You feel. Influence. It's not talent. The quote is there. All this will come into picture, correct? We normally think that manner. Government says we should remove this suspicion in the minds of public. So what is ethics? Ethics is not doing what is correct according to you. Ethics is doing what is correct according to others. As a government servant, we must be bothered about what public feels about us. So what they say is, if at all your son has got a job in Airtel, inform the government. Sir, I am a private chairman. My son has got a job. He is top ranker from Ayya Muhammad Abad. Through campus selection, he has got. You can do an inquiry, and if you suggest he should go with the job, I'll ask him to go. Else, I'll act accordingly. And government says in the report, this is not my words. Government's words. Government says. Intention of the government is not to stop son or daughter of a government employee from getting the job which they deserve it through their merit, but to remove suspicion in the minds of public that office was not misused. We recommend them to inform us about that and then take up the case. Are you getting the point? So when you write your answer. When your language is in this form, you get marks. I hope you get the difference. You are not choosing an action. You are explaining why you are choosing a particular action. I just remember one thing, guys. Uh, there was a procession, God's procession, right? You might have seen this in uh, different images as well, but let me put it in a different way. Uh, God's procession was going on. Let's say Ganesh Chaturthi or something. Procession is going. One guy was smoking, right? And as soon as he saw the procession, he started. Uh, he was smoking, but still he started doing namaste to the god. Two people were watching on the other side. One guy told, "See this boy, right? Uh, while praying, he's smoking." The other boy told, "No, no, he's good. Even while smoking." Is praying to God. So everything depends upon how you represent, how you write, how you show us in it, and that is ethics. Ethics is more about your way of presenting things, and that is for two fifty marks. It requires hardly ten minutes. There is a very good book of D K Balaji, and there is another book released by the government. Fourth ARC report. If you type this in internet, you get ethics in governments. But these two, if you read, that must be good. Ethics in governments. Optionals how to choose depends upon your interest, your background. So there is no one option which is good for everyone. So don't worry about that. Anything else from your side?
So, last not to stop you. Thank you.